hoping that today's episode would lead at least one person to a place of healing. I'm hoping that everything I'll be sharing today would push you closer to the cross, push you closer to Jesus, who is the only one we should really be looking at, you know. Um, I said in my last video of how I didn't go to church for two years and um, like I was sharing in that video, I, I said that I didn't think that I would ever come to that point in my life where I would not bulge at all about church. So I'll be talking about church hurt today and I know that quite a number of people are going through different levels of church hurt in different ways. I remember that while I was in therapy, uh, yes, I went to therapy. I paid for I paid for two other people to go to therapy. And if you've ever gone to therapy, you know that therapy is not cheap. And these people reached out to me when I was at the lowest point of my life. And I just thought that this was the end for me. And they were going through similar things as I was going through. And I knew at that point, like, listen, you need to go to therapy, right? You need help, right? Um, so church hurt is so deep. It's so deep that it would make you doubt everything. I know that some people are like, they've journeyed so far with God, like, and I really want to be like that. I really want to get to that point where nothing moves me and nothing shakes me. You know, like six years ago, eight years ago, 10 years ago, if anybody had prophesied, <laughs> and told me that in the year 2020 apart from the pandemic that everybody experienced that so i would i would go through that kind of hurt and that i would and that it would take me so it would make me so sad and angry with the church and take me away from god i would say the person is a big fat liar i don't want to rush anything in this video because um I know that our attention span is really low these days um, so please I want to just please watch till the end I'm hoping that it's not so long if it's too long for one video I would I would break I would like break yeah, I think that's the word yes so yeah I I was going through like a very deep 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 church one thing that church hurt does to you first is that there's a level of pain that just comes down on you. Every hurt that I have ever gone through in my life has come from church. So for me, it felt like, God, what is wrong? It feels like the closer I'm trying to get, the more I'm trying to reach you, the more hurting I get, the more somebody's stabbing me, the more pain I go through. I mean, why is that? I was so angry with anybody, pastor, especially male pastors. I was suspicious of every male pastor. Even with business, people who have cheated me the most are Christians. Remember, like, there was one deal that I was supposed to do. That deal, that business deal was like, I think, was it 15 million or 10 million? I don't remember exactly now. And I was cheating. These people, they, they are Christians, they are leaders in their church. As in, that's how we even got started talking in the first place. Like, oh my God, I really like your vibe for God and da da da, and I'm this and that. And they, by the time I found out, I found out from somebody in, I don't know if the person is in LA, I think it was a representative of that company in LA or China, I don't remember now, that innocently just sent me a. I mean an email and I was like what instead of giving me like I think 10 or 15 million I think I eventually got like no 
I got like two million naira if I remember well. I was like, steal from me, but like give me at least half of it. So like I've gone through so many Christian things, like so many. So I've just had enough. I was like, you know what? I'm done with all these church people. I don't want to have anything to do with all these people anymore. So I stayed away from church. I stopped going to church. I stopped. If you call me and you're telling me that I will be praying for you, I will block you. As in, I didn't care. The level of politics and manipulation in some of our churches is like witchcraft. And so I went through that process of not wanting to talk to God at all. I was just really bitter. Everything I knew to do, I stopped doing it. I now wanted to live the exact opposite of the life that I knew to live because I wanted to, I wanted God to feel pain. And that's one thing that pain does to us sometimes, you know. Um, you want the you because I felt like it was God causing me the pain I wanted God to feel pain what I did not know was that my pain was already hurting him that the fact that I was in pain was hurting him already I would imagine myself smoking and I couldn't even go out to get a smoke because I was like nobody knows me to be this kind of person I hated Christians so much and I hated Christianity and I hated leaders. I hated I hated Church people. I went through all that phase But I want to thank God for people who still prayed for me even though I didn't want to be prayed for I want to thank God for People who were just there in silence not pressuring me not trying to force me back because you know what words cannot take people back to god especially people that know the bible anybody actually it is god it is god that does the transformation in the heart of people really there's so much to talk about the breaking point started when I asked my therapist one day, I said, when do I start to feel better? She said, she can't tell, you know, that some people, they stay in therapy for the rest of their lives. Um, for some people, maybe after a year or two, you know, I was like, what? And I just knew that the only person who really can heal me of this thing is God. I remember that morning. I just woke up with a word, El Roy. I had never heard that before. I googled it. It means the God who sees, who sees me. I don't know how to explain it. It just did something to my heart. I just started weeping and I went on to YouTube and the first song there was He knows my name Funny enough, it was the video that had the lyrics of the song and then they had all these graphics in it of a child, of a pregnant woman, the child, the tiny legs and the hands of the child, you know, because the song has like different verses. It dawned on me that, you know, that God sees me and that he sees this pain and that before the foundation of the earth, God had written down everything about my life and then i now stumbled on a scripture that says that we do not have a high priest that has not been tested we do not have a high priest that has not gone through everything that we have gone through that was the that was the way that that word hit me at the time like if god came in the in the flesh and he also went through pain why can't i go through pain why can't i go through church hurt and he made me see that the reason why jesus is able to relate with us no matter what we are going through is because he has 
he has come in flesh and he knows how we feel you know if you watch all those films where somebody is just trying to like give you multiple injections at the same time trying to revive you that was how i was feeling i was being pumped with the love of god i started to hear it is you and me now look at me and you know as he started to say look at me it is you and me i started to realize that the reason why i was really pained was because i was looking at what man did to me the church is all of us the church is you the church is me and like i said we are imperfect but we must look at jesus when we are going through the hurt to be able to get back on our feet i went from being very angry with the church with everyone from the church to saying lord i'm sorry there were words that i said to god that in my pain that when i think about it now i cry and i still apologize again for saying those words and i'm just like god if not that god forgives you know i don't think that god would ever forgive me i mean if i were god i wouldn't forgive myself so i was very angry and pained and i now started to just really just repent and i was saying god i'm sorry i started to now just explain everything that had happened to god like god didn't see it and i really just let him see be vulnerable with god like god can take your vulnerability as in bring it god can take it god is no man that you'll be saying ah what's the best way to say it ah let me apply emotional intelligence ah let me know as in say it god will take it and because god sees the very depth of your heart he sees beyond the words that you are saying and he sees your heart for him he doesn't condemn or judge you he's able to heal you from that and that was how everything started turning around and it was like god was doting over me everywhere i went somebody had a word for me oh god is saying this and god is saying this and it was you know like that moment where you are trying to toast somebody when you are trying to ask a girl out and it's everything that she wants that she wants to do for her i started to go through that process of being like if i think about anything it will just happen it will just happen like this i don't know how to explain it and I just want to say a big thank you to Lake Kombalogun. There's so many things I cannot share yet. I thank God for you, Abu. Thank God for Sister Bolu, for Sister Umi. Christana, I thank God for you. I thank God most especially for my ex. There are some people that God has revealed who you are to them. That it doesn't matter what phase you go through spiritually, they will look at you from that revelation that they have gotten. And these are the people that I've just mentioned. I thank God for Auntie Bukola. I thank God for Pastor Yomi. Pastor Yomi, thank you. I know that I blocked you a number of times. If you ever watch this video, I blocked him because I was really upset. Um, then eventually I became a good girl. <laughs> I have blocked him and then reached out and apologized. And um, you know that some people, when you when you are on fire, they will call you. Oh, let's do Bible story. Please pray with me. Please believe God with me. Please do this with me. But when the when you start to go through certain phase and process, you start to see them jumping around to other people then you know really eh, we are nothing when people are attracted to you it's not you it's the god in you is the grace that you carry is the revelation of that god has given to you that people want to i don't know how to explain it that people want to because people look up to you in that light they want to be taught of god as well if that makes sense so everybody just vanished but the people that stayed were 
you know they kept telling that juliana we know who you are in fact it now felt like i forgot who i was i didn't know who i was anymore <laughs> when I, I went from i i now started from the scratch i downloaded super book i downloaded children's bible <laughs> i was watching children bible stories i was watching like and thank god there are lots of children kini online we don't have a lot of nigerian churches doing that or nigerian videos on, on 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 youtube but we have a bunch of like um our brothers and sisters in christ from the abroad you know and i was everything i was watching was for for children because that was i felt like i wanted to start from scratch again and i started just doing that and you know i had these people lifting me up in prayer every other day i was praying and praying and praying and i was praying and i i thank god for everyone who listened to me god started to lead me to go and meet certain people i thank god also for ddk i thank god 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 for ddk the best part was just getting away with god and just being lost in nature and i remember every time i i enjoyed sitting by the window to watch the sunset and to watch the sun rise and every time the sun rises i just feel this hope in my heart that today is another day to get better and i remember the word of god that says that i highlighted that place in my bible where it says that the favor of god is on you like the morning sun and your wounds are completely healed or are quickly are healed quickly when you call on me i will answer when you call when you look at me i'll respond uh, i think i'm I'll, I'll attach the scripture oh i was eating that word and i didn't rush anything i'm just like god leave me here like until you give me a new heart it was also dedicated that introduced me to sarah jakes was watching sarah jakes like uh, like hey, that was when i fell in love with her that a sermon where she said girl get up Ooh, so good allow people be there for you that was also one thing i struggled with because sometimes you are too you are thinking you're you are thinking that you'll be too much of a burden to them but really what are they there for if you can be there for people let people also be there for you i think my testimony is that god did not let me go god kept chasing after me I'm really grateful to god for holding me down God is your friend. God is your father. God is just there for you. And I pray, I I pray that you know that anyone that is going through any kind of pain, that God heals you. In the name of Jesus, I pray that you encounter God. I pray that you encounter God. I pray that you encounter God. The only one who can take away pain like you never experienced pain. The only one who can take away pain like you never ever even know pain. I pray that you encounter God. I pray that he, he, he heals you from the inside out. I pray that you, you, you experience the peace of God. The love of God. He wells up on the inside of you. He wells up on the inside of you. I pray that you fix your eyes back on the cross. You fix your gaze on the cross you look towards him you look at him you stay with him i pray that you will not lose god god will raise people who would uphold you spiritually who would be there for you who will pray over you who will pray with you who will pray for you in the name of jesus who will intercede for you in the name of jesus and i pray that you will not only be healed you will be made whole and you would not even smell like what you have been through you would not look like what you have been through you would experience god afresh you know you would you would have a new fresh beautiful relationship with god you will walk with god in the name of jesus in the name of jesus also like in this life we would always hurt ourselves whether we we gather as christians in church we gather as christians in the office because that's how god is also managing all of us all of us we are not 
if God wants to really look for a good child, none of us is worthy. So just be managed. Manage your neighbor like that, just as God is managing you like that. In quote, though, before some people say that Diana said God is managing us, I don't understand it <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> yeah, so I feel like I've said a lot, and I really hope that this video has helped at least one person. Um, so don't leave church, you know. I mean, like, don't leave God. That's what, don't leave God. Don't let what people have done to you in church take you away from God. Because life after now, you don't want to go through pain here and still go through pain in eternity. So stick to God. Hold on to Him. Okay, enough said. I think I said a lot. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please like this video. Please share this video with as many people as you know that this video will bless. Thank you for watching. It was a long one. I don't know if this video will be part one or part two. However you watch it, thank you. If you want to join this family, please subscribe. <laughs> Turn on your notification bell. Leave a comment. I like this video so more people can see it. Um, if it blesses you, you can also like put it up on your story and tag me or whatever, like uh, so that I can see it too. Or I can also read from the comments anyone that the Lord needs you to do, do so. <laughs> I love you guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, be well.